Hello, for this lesson, we are gonna be talking about the difference between wants and needs. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to identify what is a want and what is a need. And you should also be able to determine how wants and needs affect how we spend our money. What is a need? A need is something you have to have in order to survive. So, when you're thinking about that, can you think of some examples of things we need in order to survive? I'll give you a clue. Look around your house and think of things that are in your house that you need in order to survive. One thing that you need in order to survive is your house itself. You need shelter. Without a house, we would not be able to survive. Your house protects you and keeps you safe. It keeps you safe from the heat in the summertime and from the cold in the wintertime. It gives you a warm bed to sleep in, provides you with running water, and it provides you with heat in the winter when it's cold outside and air conditioning or a place from the heat in the summertime. We touched on this just a second ago, but you need water. Your body is made up of mostly water. And so in order for your body to function, you need water. So we need water in order to survive. Food. We all need food in order to survive. Your body uses food for energy. And without that food, we wouldn't be able to do the things that we do on a daily basis, like talking walking, running, reading, going to school, your body uses food as energy for all of those things. Think of it like gas in your car. If you didn't put gas in your car, your car wouldn't run and your body is the same way. Without food and water, your body can't run. So other needs. What other needs do we have? Well, we also have things we need in order to perform daily tasks or to complete a job. So can you think of some examples of things you need in order to get tasks or jobs done throughout the day? One thing is a car. And although we don't need the nicest car, I might want a very nice convertible, for example, but I don't need that. However, with my four children, I definitely need a van or some sort of car that's large enough to get them around. I do need a car to go to my job. I need a car to take my kids to school or to doctor's appointments. And if I don't have a car, then I need some other form of transportation to get me to and from places. Another example would be toothbrush and toothpaste. Now, you need these things in order to keep your teeth nice and clean, to prevent you from getting cavities and your teeth going bad. There's other things that we need, such as hairbrush, soap, things like that, that we need to complete a daily task, whether it's to keep our body clean. We also need clothing. It doesn't have to be the nicest clothing. It doesn't have to have the latest and greatest character on it that we like, but we need clothing and shoes to keep our body protected. So these are just a few examples. They're not all examples, but again, let's review. I want you to think to yourself, what is a need? Right. A need is something that we have to have in order to survive or to complete a daily task to take care of ourselves or perform a job. So we've talked about needs. Let's move on to what? Okay, so it might not be that dramatic as Veruca Salt just depicted for us, but what are wants? Wants are things we would like to have but do not need. 
So based on that information and looking at the video of Veruca Salt from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, can you think of some examples of wants? What are some things that you want? Toys. Toys are great and they're fun to play with. What kid doesn't love toys? But remember the definition of a want, something you want to have. And remember the definition of a need. A need is something you need, have to have in order to survive. Toys are great to play with, but you do not need them in order to survive. Now, a lot of people have these, but an iPad is not a need. It's a want. It's something that we want in order to make our day go smoother or to have the ability of having a computer right at our fingertips. There are all kinds of examples of things we want. And again, these are just a few. So I want you to look at each of the following to determine if it's a need or a want. So peanut butter and jelly sandwich, would that be a need or a want? You're correct if you said it was a need. It's food. It's something we have to have in order to survive. It might not be what you want to have for dinner or for lunch, but as long as it's food, it's something that you need in order to survive. A bike. Is a bike a need or a want? You are correct if you said it's something I want. A bike is nice to have and it's fun to play on and it's fun to get exercise on but it's not something that you need. It's something that you want to go out and have fun and play on. Soap. Is soap a need or a want? You are correct if you said it is a need. We all need soap to get our body clean, to get the germs off of our hands, to make our body smell good and to get clean and all that dirt and grime off. So soap is definitely something that we need to keep our bodies healthy and clean. So let's tie all of this together. We have talked about wants and needs. And remember, a need is something you have to have in order to survive or you have to have in order to perform a daily task or activity or a job. So at school, you need a pencil or if you're doing school online, you need your computer in order to do that. It doesn't have to be the latest and greatest model, but you need a computer in order to perform the task or even viewing this video lesson right now. At home, you need things like food and your house and clothing and shelter to take care of your body and to take care of yourself to keep yourself protected. But there's also things that we want and things that we want might include toys, it might include Legos, video games, an iPad, or an iPhone. Those are all things that we want. So how does this drive what we buy? And how does it make a difference when it comes to our money? Well, people first spend their money on things they need. Then they need to spend things, money on things they want after that. You have to have things you need first in order to survive. So we need to make sure that we use our money to buy things that we need and then save up money to buy things that we want. And in the next section, we'll learn more about how saving money can help us get the things we want.